working. If you are here and watching and you can hear me, go ahead and comment so that I know that everything is working okay. And also, hello, chef. Well, whatever your name is, I can't, read, I, I can't read it. Hello. <laughs> I can't read that. Okay. All right, so I have already made 12 batches of bagels today, getting ready yeah. for this video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are going to have bagels for days. We're going to have 13 dozen bagels by the end of this. So uh, luckily, my kids love bagels, so that is going to work out just fine. All right, let's make sure that we are seeing the comments. Uh, all right, looks like YouTube is working. Yay! So now we're just looking for Facebook. And waving back. You're waving back? At someone who waved in the chat. Yay! Hello, Joseph, and, Lorraine, and, uh, and, Shang Tufta. And also, hi, Mikati. Shagufta? Is that how you say that? Shagufta? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering it. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, that's definitely how you say it. That is definitely Shagufta how you say it. Naz. Okay. And nice. Facebook is working. Candy, Rhonda, Margaret, Jen, Tina, welcome, welcome. Wow, there's, there's, many, pe there's many people. Okay. That Are you guys ready to get started? So, yes yeah. so yesterday we made homemade from scratch bread, and I gave you guys a couple options of what you want to do today, and bagels won. So as I was Yay. working on my recipe last night, I was like, oh, let's, should we do chocolate chocolate chip bagels, cinnamon sugar bagels, um, maybe... Uh, jalapeno cheddar bagels. Those are one of my favorites. And I was trying to think sweet or savory. And then um, I was remembering my trip to New York where my daughter and I went to the Rainbow Bagel store and they had been, they got closed for not paying their taxes. Um, luckily, we found another place that makes Rainbow Bagels in New York. But ever since then, I'm like, I just need to make it myself. Uh, I love making bagels. I've been making bagels for, yeah, that, that, see, yeah, yeah, 15, she found 16 managed, years. She, you managed to find it on the, on, on in the internet. Not on the internet. I've been making bagels for 16 years. What? What? <laughs> uh, it was actually a bagel cookbook. It's a cookbook. It's on my desk. Do you want to go grab it? Yes. Yeah. Is where I uh, got the base recipe for this, and then, of course, I've tweaked it over the years, um, and this is what I'm at now. So we're going to make just a traditional plain bagel, uh, and then I'm going to show you how I color it. But I already have all of the colors dyed and ready to go. So then I'm going to show oh, you. Oh, oh, oh wow. careful! Then I'm going to show you how I we put together and create the rainbow bagels. So this is the best bagels. This is the bagel cookbook that I ordered when I was living in Japan and I was creating bagels, um, and it's awesome. So I, I want to look into it. Okay, you can look at it. All right. So first thing that we're going to do is, of course, this is a yeast-based bread. So we're going to start by proofing the yeast. So we have. Oh. Our, uh, our yeast and then uh, for bagels you want a warmer flavor so we're gonna go with brown sugar now I'm just gonna do like a teaspoon in there at first and we're going to check on the temperature Can of the water that we're gonna yeast? add all right we yeast want it to be yeast? Okay, shh, 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 shh. we want it to be about 112 degrees it's 106 right now so I'm gonna microwave it for like eight seconds um, and then see what it is. You want to get in between 105 and 115, as close to 110, 12 as you can. All right. Let's test this now. All right. And 112, 13. Perfect. I'll take it. So we're going to pour that in here. And then we want to let that uh, proof for about five to ten minutes. If I'm not trying to do a live stream, I usually let it go for ten minutes. If I am hurrying through things, uh, I'll do it for five. So I'm going to pull out all of the dough that I've already made real fast so that it can start, um, so it can start to warm up. So I made, I, I made rainbow colors. So I have the red and the orange already made. Tripping over everything. I have uh, yellow and green. And blue. And 
I just finished making the purple. I'm actually going to stick the purple in the fridge for a second. Basically, you want water bagels. Because it's rising a little fast. Holy bagels, bagels, Jewish rye bagels. So. While we're waiting for the yeast to proof, I'm going to talk to you about how you can make six different... Okay, honey, if you're going to read that out loud, go to the other room, okay? Uh, how I make all six different colors to prep and be ready to make this bagel. So you can uh, mix a large batch of bagels, divide it into six, and then color each portion. But bagel dough is thicker and denser than like the bread dough that we made yesterday. And trying to... Thanks, yeah, bud. Yeah, and trying to knead it... Um, once it's already completely kneaded, trying to knead in the color smoothly is really hard to do, and I don't recommend it. You're going to get a marble effect, and you're never going to get a really pure color. So I make each batch individually and color it at the medium stage. Once we've added half the that half the flower stage, uh, that's when I color it so that it gets nice and smooth and completely incorporated before all the flour is added. So my trick to getting them all to be risen at the same time is um, I start, this is, I've again, I've made a couple batches. Uh, I start the yeast, like I'm doing now, uh, and while that's, once that's risen, I add all of the first ingredients, and then I prep the second yeast for the second batch here while I'm kneading and coloring the first batch so that they're constantly... I'm constantly working on two batches at once. The other trick is, as soon as a batch is done and colored, I put it in a greased bowl, wrap it in plastic to keep that humidity in there, and I stick it in the fridge. Once I have the first three batches in the fridge, red, orange, yellow, when I go to add the fourth color, the green, I moved the red over to the freezer because it was just starting to proof a little bit too much. Cool. Yeah. Wet. Cool. And then same thing, when I added the blue, I moved the orange over to the freezer. And then when I finish the purple, I moved. Oops, I'm doing great, Joseph. I moved the um, no, next one over to the freezer. Um, and then once the last one was done, okay. once the purple was done, I put the purple in the fridge for a couple minutes. And then when I was ready to make them, I pulled everything out, um, and that helped them all be risen to the same amount at the same time. So I've just pulled everything out, so that while we finish this batch they will warm back up again to room temperature and be easier to work with. So, um, I forgot to set a timer, so we're going to say it's been about five minutes because I have plenty of bagels in yeah, this batch yeah, of orange. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the yeast, how foamy it's gotten. That lets you know that your yeast is active and working. And I have washed this bowl so many times. I'm like, I think I got a little bit of dye in the inside of the bowl still. Okay, so now we're going to add oh. the rest of the sugar. We're going to add... Uh, teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of salt. Now you'll notice that this recipe doesn't have any fat in it. So yesterday the bread had butter, or you could put oil in it. Uh, bagels are a no-fat uh, recipe, mm. so you don't want to add any fat because we want this to be a denser, uh, meatier Wait, bread. Does, does this have any sugar? This? Does that have any sugar? No. Yeah. Oh. I this big. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Next up, we're going to add half the flour. So this recipe, this recipe calls for three and a half cups of flour. Oh yeah, yep, yep. I know you guys no, are gonna believe me. So this yeah. is my yes. bread, my uh, bread flour bucket. It's super old, and the outside needs to be cleaned. Um, anyway, this is my bread flour bucket, and yesterday it was full before I started making all the loaves of bread. So yesterday I made eight loaves of bread, and today I'm making thirteen lo thirteen bath thirteen dozen bagels. Yeah, I'm down to. A quarter? Yep, yep. A quarter full. Yeah. So, yeah. I have to now this. need more bread flour. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I've added two cups to the huge. mixer. Yeah. And so we don't get a big cloud of powder, I'm going to put the half lid on. where we want to add the color. Yeah, you don't what in the world was that? Alright, what color should we add, buddy? What's your favorite color? Um green. Yes. Yeah. Should we do And we can't do Should we do black. pink or turquoise? Um turquoise. Turquoise? Okay. Turquoise. Turquoise. Right. Since I already have all the colors that 
I need for this. We're just going to have some fun. We're going to add some turquoise. Yeah. And we're going to mix it again. I do have black for that. Now notice it's Mom, not picking up. What? Can you ask what, me what about your you thought later? Both of them. You could add both of them. It would not turn out turquoise or pink. It would turn out brown. Man, I keep seeing little, there we go. Okay, so notice that um, that it's not getting everything. That's okay, because once this is mostly colored and you got it nice and saturated, we're gonna add the rest of the flower. So I'm gonna add another cup and a half. You'll notice that it's immediately starting to clean the sides of the bowl. Yesterday, if you were here and joined us for my bread class, I talk about how you just add a little bit of flour at a time. You don't usually jump straight to the full amount the recipe calls for. Um, and you wait until it just barely starts to clean itself in the bowl and then you stop adding flour. Uh, so, so, someone missed what you added. Oh, uh, flour. Um, so, so far we have our yeast, brown sugar, warm water, salt, and flour. And that's it. That is all the ingredients for these bagels. Uh, so back to my notes and hey. instant yeast, not, not, um, not quick yeast, not, sorry, not job, quick Jack instant yeast. Sorry. This is active yeast, not instant yeast, active, active yeast, active dry yeast. Again. So this is the one you have to proof. If it was instant no, yeast, you. you wouldn't have to proof it. Okay. Shh. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, so yesterday I talked about how whenever it comes to a bread recipe, you want to make sure to not add all of the flour that the recipe calls for, but to add a little at a time until it starts to clean the bowl. That is what you want for light, fluffy breads and rolls. Bagels are not, okay, just a second. Bagels are not light and fluffy. So in this case, go ahead and add the full amount. Um, I, I did the light amount for my first batch of dough and then I tested it. Um, I have gone through a lot of tests for this. So this is the right amount of dough for me, flour for me. You can add just one more cup and save that half a cup until this is all kneaded in and then decide how you like it from there. Um, but I'm going to show you the final result. We're going to need this a little bit longer, show you the final result and show you just how thick and dense this uh, dough is. We're using active dry yeast. Yeah, All right. Yeah. But yeah. notice, this is a so, really so. thick and dense dough. Okay, can, I, can I touch it? You want to touch it? Oh, this feels weird. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, but I'm, gonna, I'm like showing water. people right now. It feels like water. Ooh. Um. Weird. But this is what you're looking for. If it is at all sticky on your hands, it needs a little bit more flour. Oh, someone can it does have or yeast in yeah. Idaho. It does have a really nice... Uh, stretch to it. To, uh, t t so does everybody, anybody have any questions about the texture of this dough? It does when you press it bounce back. Oh, interesting. So if you just press it, it bounces back? Yeah. All right. So I have a bowl that I have poured some grease into. Hold on a second. We're going to move, we're going to move the mixer oh, out of the way. Now. What is that smell? Is it, is it, is it a bowl? Ugh, what's it smell? Alright, so I have a bowl yeah. that I have oiled with some olive oil. I'm going to put the dough in, flip it over, 
shake it again so that it gets completely covered. Uh, what's that smell? I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap to hold the humidity inside the bowl versus just a towel. So that's another way that this is different from a classic bread. A classic bread, I'll just put a tea towel over it and let the dough breathe. In this case, I want the dough to be sealed so that the humidity will help it uh, grow and mm. will help it um, interesting. rise better. So if you're going to be making it that same day, you can just leave it on the counter to rise uh, until about double in size. It should take about 40 minutes to an hour, maybe a little longer. My kitchen has been really warm today. Um, I'm gonna sit, stick this in the fridge till I have time to deal with it later since we have so much else going on. Uh, I feel sorry for you, Tammy Lance, to be a lot of salt but not finding flour or yeast anywhere. I'm so, I feel sorry for you, okay. Tammy. So really quickly, I'm going to uh, catch up on some comments. Uh, Joseph, how are we doing? We're doing good. We had a 4.7 earthquake this morning that woke all of us up. So I've been up since very early this morning. Um, is it going to be every day now? Just for the next couple of weeks while the kids are at home and people are oh, looking for something to watch sunshine, and something to do. Um, hopefully. We'll see. If it interrupts my family too much, we might not be every day, but that's my plan for now. Um, Ashley Bagels, you're so excited. You're not expecting me to live today, so you're surprised. Yes, I announced yesterday that I'm planning on going live every weekday for the next couple of weeks with the kids home. Um, Minnesota, uh, can you tell me what she added you missed starting? Uh, it's already went over that. Live is working, thanks. You need to make some homemade bread. Since you can't find bread in stores right now, you have flour. Uh, Sunshine but, Baker. But it won't last long. Yep, okay. Sunshine Baker, yesterday, I did my live stream was all about making homemade sandwich bread. So go ahead and watch that from yesterday. It has, there's a ton of tips and tricks in the video as well as in the description box um, on the YouTube video. Uh, Tammy, you cannot find flour and yeast in Idaho. Uh, Kay said she found some at Walmart. Uh, but, I but know that the he's, Lehigh... He's been to a lot of stores, okay. but he hasn't... Yes, we've all been to a lot of stores. Lehigh Roller Mills just sent out an email that they are no longer selling at their location, but that they are still selling through Costco. So if you have a Costco close by, I would call and check and see... Um, if they have gotten any in. I know that my Costco is getting deliveries probably every other day. They do go quickly though. I and most grocery stores too. I've noticed I've been getting emails from are having special hours for people in high risk times. I would say go right after whatever that scheduled time or the, as early as you can get in in the day. Just a second uh, um, to see if what you can get. Also, if you can make hard. friends with anybody who works at the grocery store, maybe they can no, um, no, let no, you know when no, they're expecting no, that no. next shipment because I think as things start no, to calm down go, this go, week, go, go, we'll go. be able to find stuff a little bit easier. I like bagels too, Margaret. You like bagels too? Yes. Yeah, Margaret, okay. Edward loves bagels too. Uh, like you've been bagels. to a lot of stores. Yes, I have been to a lot of stores as well. Uh, all right, not use. What did I use for cream cheese in Japan? Uh, there was an international grocery store where we found like a block of, we would find a block of cheese like this big. Just very, very expensive. So we mostly just did bagels with like butter. But, um, and not Yay, cream cheese when we were living in Japan. Um, but fresh, I would do like, um, garlic bagels or cinnamon sugar bagels. So it was okay that it didn't have, that I didn't have cream cheese. Um, Tina, sweetheart. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. I think, I think I'm all caught up. Sunshine bagel. Yes, I did. Okay. I did see it. Loved it. Okay, took notes. You took notes. I'm so glad. So Let me know if you have any questions notes. or if so anything. Okay, uh, so I'm going to get out a big sheet of parchment Whoa. paper. Whoa. And I'm going to get out a second big sheet of parchment paper. Ah. Yeah. On one sheet, we're going to be. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, that's my foot. Sorry. On one sheet, we're going to be patting out. Uh, the dough, and on the other sheet, we're going to be uh, layering to get the height that we are looking for. So we're going to start with red. You're you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, sunshine maker. You're welcome, bud. I made that for you. <laughs> My first thing you did. Oh no, there's the purple. Okay, there it is. Okay, sorry, just making sure I have all the colors. We're going to actually start with purple, because the red is still a little cold. So. Alright, so here's the purple. 
knock it down, pull it out. Hey, can, can I start? Did you wash your hands? What? I said, have you washed your hands? <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna press it into a rectangle. And you wanna keep it as even as possible. Now, if you're making normal donuts, you have a couple options. One, you can just roll this into a rope, and I'm gonna sh we're gonna do the rope method for the rainbow bagel, so I'll show you how I seal those together. Your other option is to pat it out about three quarters an inch thick and use cutters and cut circles. I prefer the rope method simply because there's no waste that way. When you do the cut method, there is a lot of waste in the dough. Um, but when you do the cut method, you also get a much smoother, more even bagel, where when you do the roll method, one side tends to be a little bit bulgier, a little bit bigger, but both work just fine. And if you do the cut version, you can cut a circle and then you can cut an inside circle like you would with a donut and have little bagel bites, or you can just take your circle, stick your finger in it, and kind of swing it around your finger, and you'll get, um, and that will widen out your dough and create the ring, and you'll have less waste that way. And um, once we finish with the rainbow, I'll get out that turquoise dough, the turquoise dough that we just made and have in the fridge, and I'll show you both of those methods. You washed your hands real good? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, so. Oh, 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 Facebook. Oh, We want to keep this. Facebook. Oh, Facebook's oh. going wonky. Looks like YouTube is still working good, though. Yeah! I don't know if it's the earthquake or everything else happening, but we have been having internet trouble. All right, yeah, so. I think it's the earthquake. No, maybe an earthquake. Maybe, maybe the something that happened you before think that last night that, that kind of hit this, like, internet thing. I kind yeah. of saw this internet thing. You think? Yeah, I think it is in, in, in sorted in, internet connection places oh, and stuff. Oh, okay. That's good so, to, to know that you think that. All right, so purple done. So we might not be able to use this internet as much. Now we're going to grab the, the blue. Something else. Knock it down. Can I do that? Pull it out. Can I, can I do that with the one? The color I chose with the color I chose. Uh, yes. Yay. But we're not doing we're not doing that color yet because that needs to rise still. All right. Yeah. So now what we're trying to do is match the size. So. Oh yo. Holding it next to the one we already made. Can I pat it? Yeah. Go ahead. I like patting. Yeah, you do. Kind of pulling and stretching and patting. Weird. Yeah, does and it? Like that feel. It does feel weird. Yeah. Okay, the one thing that you don't want to do is roll it out. That will squish out too many of the air bubbles. Your hands are more gentle, and so they're a better way to go. Mm. So. Nice to know. Mm, not quite there yet. Once you feel. My hands feel very weird. Like your size is right. Hold it right next to it. And Ooh. flip it over. Oh no. It kind of rolled up. Uh, a, Pulling and stretching it into place, matching uh, the uh, two layers uh, as best you can. And checking to make oh, sure. Cutting out on FB. Checking to, oh, checking to make sure that we're still even. <gasps> oh, someone said cutting out on YouTube. Man, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know why. It is doing this. I reset. Yeah, cutting out and it's I reset still my internet. And said and, okay, cutting honey, out I can see. Thing. Shush. Uh, okay, yeah. well, okay, I can read. Please, shush. Uh, Facebook is cutting out really bad, but YouTube looks like it's doing okay. Um, so, sorry about that. All right, next up is green. Um, blue, blue yeah, I reset so my internet. Okay, shh. I reset my internet at everything, so I'm not quite sure what is going on. So, green, same thing. Yeah, it's probably the earthquake. Knock down. Because so, saying the internet doesn't work. The the internet, the internet thing. Hey, can you go tell all your siblings to get off the internet? Yeah. Thank you. 
Usually I don't have the kids around, so I'm wondering if it's the internet usage from the kids or if well, it's well, something maybe, else. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Can you just go ask everybody real fast? Thanks, bud. Maybe, bud. You could be right. Okay. So same thing. Kind of try to match up the size as best you can, keeping the dough as even as possible. And I'm trying to match it up. questions so far yes YouTube is working better karma um, thank you so much Rhonda thanks for letting me know all right uh, yesterday neither of them were working great but today at least one of them is you just you just never know I don't really have a lot of control other than paying for the best dinner that I can that's all I can do okay over. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of late. Did you tell everybody to turn yeah. off the internet? Yeah. Yeah, Papa was on and said just which that, which that doesn't use the internet. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. I didn't even have to stop my own Two eye more eye. layers to go. Leg. God, they kept me captain and also had my leg. You don't have to use rainbow colors. Uh, the bagel store in New York City uses a lot of neon colors. Mm. So you could use kind of a mix of any colors you want. I would recommend a minimum of four, maximum of six. Um, I'm doing six today just because I wanted to show you really just what you could yeah, do right, and what right, could be yeah, done. Yeah, rainbow. so many layers all right and now our <laughs> final layer um, what food coloring are you using that's a great question I like the Americolor gel pastes hold on I'll grab one to show you the kids are doing a great job this is the this is the brand that I like Come on, focus. Americolor gel paste. Yeah. Um, I and I, I mostly I used red. Red, yellow, and blue. Um, for these. They're also, they also beautiful colors. Did you use red flower for the sesame? I mi I missed the very beginning. Yes, we did use bread yes, flour. Yes, this is this is bread flour because yes. bread you definitely want to use. Now with the white bread I made yesterday, I said you could use either or, and you really can. But for bagels, you definitely want to use bread flour for the density and the higher protein. Yeah, that makes sense. One hundred percent for sure. All right, last layer. I'm gonna put the push the back in. <laughs> it must. It actually doesn't have to be. Careful. All right, now. 
Let me get out the cutting oh, board. I can barely see the best color. Oh, it's getting scorched oh. under so much pressure. Look at that. Hey, can you move for a second? I'm going to move this camera. Okay. Thanks. I'll just back up. See, all I can do is back up. Yeah, all right. Okay, so, oops, wrong camera. There we go. Uh -huh. so now you can see all the layers, and I moved them on to a cutting board. Um, now, if you have the time, I would recommend chilling this, just throwing it in the fridge for mm -hmm. another 10 minutes just to kind of help the dough firm up. It will make it easier to cut. Yeah. But we are just going to move right along. So I have my really long serrated blade, and I'm actually going to cut this right down the middle. Ah, so it's even. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. It, it still and I'm going to add even. that onto oh, there. Oh, nope. it's, 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 and that's going to give us. It's totally. Even. That's going to give us a much even. thicker dough. And if you look at it from the top, oops, wrong angle. If you look at it from the top, what I'm going to do now is cut these into thirds. Mmm. Hey, who's honking? I hey, do not honking? know. I don't, I don't know if YouTube had it, but if you did. Yeah, somebody's knocking. Honking. Honking. <laughs> That's what I said. Somebody's honking. It sounds like you said no. I did say knocking. All right, I'm going to cut this again. Something's wrong with my English today. I don't know what, Something's but something's wrong with your English me. today? Yes. Yeah, are you forgetting how to speak since you don't have school? No, I like to talk the other day. I've been talking a lot today. Like All right, so now I have created... And guess what? What? No, I'm talking to you too. You already know this. I slept through. I slept through the main earthquake. Yep, Edward slept through the earthquake. All right, so now I have this nice, it was, it's a big I striped this back. dough. All right. Now, if I just start cutting strips like this to uh, to start twisting, I'm going to get a lot of the same color. So I'm actually going to cut an angle now. I. I do really suggest using YouTube because just look at Facebook. And I'm going to add this. It's distorted. You don't even know what she's side. doing. That's how distorted it is. All right. Yep, it is really distorted over on Facebook, but YouTube is working really well. Okay. Yeah, it's working great, so you can actually understand. What now, I'm going to start cutting the strips that I'm going to start uh, twisting. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm oh. going to stick with this angle that I've cut. It's as if the internet just mm -hmm. wants us to feel pain. <laughs> the internet wants you to feel pain. All right. Uh -huh. So I'm going to roll this out now. And as I roll, I'm going to twist in opposite directions. I want to poke one of them. Stick. And you want to roll it about an inch thick. The pokey stick. Yep, okay. You want to wrap it around an inch thick. You want to wrap it around your hand stick. now. So ah, I'm going to wrap it around my hand. hand. Yep. And I'm going to rip it off with about an inch and a half, two inches, two inches, yeah, two inches of overlap. And I'm going to roll that right on the counter. And that is going to twist that together. So now I need, oops, excuse me, okay. another sheet of parchment paper. My, my, my. Can you move? Honey, I can't open it with you right there. Okay. Thank you. Back. going to repeat. Wow, what a great sow shift you have helping. 
Yep. I don't even know what that sour it's chip is. It's a sous chef. Oh, sous chef. Oh. Is what she's saying. Uh-huh. Right? But, but, Once I get bow, low, bow. I'm going to cut another yes. strip. Mm -hmm. What what's tomorrow video? Should leave that here. What, what's tomorrow's I'm video? I'm match the leftovers up with hey, what I have left. I haven't I haven't decided on next video. And again, uh, I'm gonna roll. I really need some more counter uh, space. Jo Josh. All right. Joshua, that does so all. twist, pinch, roll. I kind of like how they look too. Sh there we go. Sh sunshine. Sunshine bacon. What? What with my English today? I don't know. What is with your English today? Ah, Chef Chagufta Naz. That says it's impressive. It's also kind of impressive too. I I can I can spell like kind of like gibberish correctly, but not but not like actual. Word that you use in the sets. I kind of kind of spell names correctly because they're not normal words. And they're, they're interesting right. and normal, and they sound yeah. weird. And then so you I just can pronounce names, but I can't pronounce this words. <laughs> I can pronounce and names. You words. just repeat. Margaret. So d d roll about an inch and a half. Twist. Wrap around your hand, yeah. pinch cut off, roll to seal, and place on yeah, parchment paper. Yeah, is beautiful. <laughs> Someone says it's and beautiful. each bagel is totally <laughs> unique. Someone's choice of wood doesn't make now, sense, remember, but I like it. How remember it to give yourself room between the bagels because they are going to yeah, expand. So and fun. also make sure it makes sense, but I like yeah. that make, make sense, sure that you keep like your it. openings <laughs> on the bigger side because they are going to raise. So. Yeah. Actually, I'm kind of funny. You are funny. That's why it's in that voice. That yes, yeah, <laughs> your voice is funny. Many Your hair is voice. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday she kind of she kind of used put one in hand so she could, <laughs> so my hair could look like because I was a truly a bedhead. <laughs> Yesterday was the most epic bedhead, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. It, it's like yesterday. It's like yesterday was when the earthquake happened, not today. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, time is rewinding. All right. So there is. There is up to that stage. So I'm going to, um, do you guys want to see any more of this or should we switch to the next, uh, switch to the next ones? Okay, great question. Uh, yes, you can freeze the dough at any of the stages. Are you, I, you can freeze it when it's in the individual colors. You can freeze it once you've turned it into this striped loaf. Just a second. Uh, you can freeze them. In fact, all of the ones that I already have finished and Aww, ready to go. Okay. Um, I froze those That's earlier today. Okay. I froze those earlier today so that um, they wouldn't rise too much uh, uh, before uh. it was time to cook. So, yeah. uh, I, I think I think people have already switched to YouTube from Facebook. Alright, so yeah, we're going yeah. to, you know what I need? Yes, I think most people have switched over to YouTube. All right. I think everyone, because there's no new comments on Facebook. No new comments on Facebook? Yeah, they've yeah. probably gotten off. All right, I'm going to move these onto a tray to put into my freezer yeah, for later. Uh, you can also freeze them once you've baked them, too, right? That is another That's another option. S swap. Ne ne next, please. Nice, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Um. I wonder why I'm paying attention so we don't know what she's saying. Not to say. But, like, I know, I know what I'm going to move the big block of dough that. onto this. Oh, yeah, that definitely is a big block. Yeah. That's a big boy. <laughs> and, uh. Mm -hmm. ooh, come on. Oh, no! <laughs> It's not wanting to come over, is it? Oh yeah, I definitely didn't want to come over. This kind of ruined. 
If you see it's you okay. Can... There isn't really, you can't really ruin it. All right, yeah. and I'm gonna throw you this can, can kind of in the freezer. It. That tray was too big for the freezer, no, so it's in the fridge. Really so remember, when it's when you're dealing with yeast doughs, when you're um, yep, that's boiling now. Oh, sorry, bringing over the heating thing. Okay. When you're dealing with yeast doughs, if you place your dough in the refrigerator, it will just slow down the yeast growing process. And depending on how cold your fridge is, will depend on just how much it slows it down. If you put it in the freezer, it actually stops the yeast growing process. So if you know you're not going to get to it soon, put it in the freezer. If you know you're going to get to it, you just need a little bit of a break or something else is going on, uh, then go ahead and use the refrigerator for yeast dose. I'm going to get some water. I'm thirsty. Okay, you do that. Oh, Did I hit your head? Finish. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit your head. All right, I have some water. <laughs> oh, yep, 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 yep definitely is going to be hot. But I've already boiled. <laughs> I have a baking tray with some parchment paper on it. I also have, I'm not even sure what you call oh, this I type of like strainer, speak now. but this is what I use for bagels. I feel um, like I can speak now. Got it at the Asian store? I think it's Two for noodles or pasta uh, maybe? Uh -huh. Does anybody know the exact name of what this is? Oh, for whatever you like to see, tell. Look Joseph, you like the bow in my hair. Thank uh, you so much. Uh, uh, how long can you freeze it? Uh, like, I just put this in the tray as is without plastic wrap on it, so it's not going to last in the fridge more than just today. I, I if I put it in the freezer and I wrapped it real good, what I would do is I'd put it in the freezer as is, and then as soon as it got firm enough to wrap, I would wrap it in a couple layers of plastic wrap, and then you can actually keep it in the fridge for hey, Mom, a, a couple days think... like that. If you want to keep it even longer, I don't recommend doing it at that big block of dough stage. I would recommend doing it at the bagel shape stage. If you freeze them once they're shaped, you f I would freeze them on a tray. Once they're frozen, you can actually take them off the tray and put them in like a gallon size freezer bag. Um, and I would double layer that. And then you can actually leave the dough in the freezer for a couple months, honestly, without any problem. Um, the problem comes with simply not that the bagels would go bad, but with them getting freezer burned. So it also depends on if your freezer gets left open on accident or something like that. Um, so uh, Mom, really I, I, the I, I, only I, I, limitation in time is the freezer burn. Yes, Mom, buddy. I don't think we need Facebook open anymore. Uh, I, probably not. Yeah, we, we could just turn off the phone. I know, but just in case it starts working or people come, we'll leave it there. Okay. So this is... Load it. Hot away. Load oh. away. Load away. No, no, we don't want it to cool down too much. We just want the steam to go away. Yeah. Okay. Load away. All right, so, oops, wrong camera. All right, so we're going to put our bagels. Oh, can I put some bagels in that? Yeah, sure. How many bagels? Now, the water should be boiling. It was boiling a second ago, so hopefully it will start to boil again. Okay. Here you go. Uh, how, okay, uh, can, I put the, the, can I put two of them? Two uh, in? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I can put two in. Oh, whoa. Whoa. So do I just drop them in? Yes, just drop them in. Yeah. Oh, okay, not, not from that high up. You want to hold it a little lower ah. and then let it go. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, yeah. That like that? Sense. Okay. All right, so this should be boiling, but of course now it's not, even though it was a second ago. So we're going to pretend that this is boiling, and you want to let them boil for 30 seconds to a minute. Now notice these are kind of small. Because I had them in um, 
because I had them in the freezer, uh, I guess I didn't get them out quite in enough time. They should have risen a little bit more than this before you do this stage. Just, just saying. Yeah. So, anyway, so after they have been Can in, yes. After they have been in for so 30 seconds to a minute in a nice them. rolling boil, see this beautiful rolling boil, then you want to pull them out and put them on can, can your baking tray mm -hmm. and pick the pretty side and have the pretty side be up. Oh, the pretty side's already up. Which side do you like on this one? This side or this side? This side. That side. Because it has left a one color. Okay. All right. Let's put some more in here. Can you put these in there? Yes. Oh. Okay, so remember, hold it down low and then let it go. But just don't put your finger, oh, a little lower. Just don't put your fingers in the water. Like, as it's like touching Right it. there. Yes, right before your fingers touch. Like that. Okay? Yeah, yeah, it looks so smooth. Yeah. Don't do that. Like, don't, don't touch it. Let it go smooth. Yeah, I don't nice. think we should add this one yet. You don't, yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Like what, after you get one of them in, j j put, you can put it in. Okay. There we go. Did you want to? Did you want to pull one out? Yes. All right. Okay. Um, go ahead. Okay, yeah. Can I put this one in? Well, no. Take all these out first before you put another one in. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't keep yeah. confused. Oh, it's wet there for some reason. It's wet. There you go. Okay, now pull it over here. It's like a spider strainer. Yeah, sunshine. It kind of is what it looks like, huh? Okay. There you go. Ah. What it is now boiling. Yeah. Ah. It got my arm. Okay. It's melting. Melting, I tell you, what a while. Oh, poor, poor you. <laughs> All right, so now I only boil... Um, since how long, please? I only boil I like a dozen at a time because I'm only going to bake a dozen at a time. I don't even know what. So my oven is already pre <laughs> my oven is already preheated to 375, oh. and I'm going to bake both oh. two trays at once. And after 11 minutes, I'm going to swap them and do another oh. 11 minutes, so for 22 minutes total. Yes. These need to bake for 20 to 25 what minutes because we're going to be opening the door in the middle of that. That's why I'm going to 22 originally. Um, Versus just sticking with the 20. If you're not, meat. if you're just doing cooking one tray at a time, then you can hey, just hey, so, do so, 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 20 so, so, minutes and then test them and see how it is. I have a request for hot wings. A request for hot wings. Mm -hmm. Buffalo chicken. I did a video last year with buffalo chicken, shredded buffalo chicken, but not wings. My kids don't really care for wings. Yeah. I do. I love wings. All right, so we have. Let us know what was two the trays, name, a dozen each. What was tea name and the thing? And one on the top. Did, did you misspell that on purpose? <laughs> did you misspell that on purpose? <laughs> um, so I would wait to boil any more until I, right before I was ready to bake some more. Because <laughs> you want to, you want to bake yeah. them fairly soon after boiling them. All right, oh, so that no. is the whole process of the hey, bagels. Can I show them one of the big boys? Uh, the, the, like, yes, do you want to show them some of the finished bagels? The, the two things with big boys on the, the giant oven. Okay, can I show them the entire tray? Yes. Want me to carry it? Yeah. Look okay. at these ginormous so bagels. here are our finished bagels. You can probably bagels. see some other ginormous bagels in the background next to the knife. Yeah. All right, so here is one of the finished bagels that I made earlier today. Has a nice crunch to it. It's bigger than it looks. Yeah. It is bigger so the reason the reason that you don't want to skip the boiling stage. I get that it's kind of a hassle, but the reason that you don't want to skip it is the boiling actually makes it so that the crust isn't as hard. So it's a chewier crunch. Uh, you know, imagine trying yeah. to eat a bagel where the inside is nice and soft and the outside was super, super hard. That would yeah, not be least, enjoyable yeah. to eat. You still want the outside to be yeah, rippable and of, chewable. And that's what the boiling water hard, does. But it's also squishy it's and It's super rippable. squishy and rippable. Yeah. All right, but so it feels next hard. up, it's we, like we want to make birth nice. okay, we want to make birthday cake rainbow cream cheese filling. What? What? Can you even believe it? I, yeah. 
Birthday cake cream cheese. That is what we are going for next. Okay, so. It's like four words. It is like four for words. For one name. For one name. You could say birthday cake bagel schmear or birthday cake cream cheese spread. Or what do you oh, want to call even, it? Birthday that's cake even longer. Cream, cream, cream you could cheese say, spread is even longer. You can say funfetti cream cheese. Funfetti cream cheese. You like that better? Okay, so it's we nice, have. It kind of has a nice. Mm, eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Can you hand me that bowl right there? Yeah, it was. This yep. was a bowl that was. Can you pour that bowl in? Off when, when Can mom, you pull, pour that bowl in? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and entire we. Entire thing. Yep, that entire thing. We have half a cup of mm. white cake mix. Yep. Go ahead. The butter is... Okay, don't this go for super high. Go, yes. go low. This is a coffin. And we'll bang it in dark. Right. No, this is a coffin. Good job. The coffin. Okay. The, just, yes, that is a coffin. And we'll put and we'll bang it. Yes, my phone just... What? My larger bowls are all dirty. So I'm using... I'm kind of stuck with this small bowl. Obviously, this is just a basic bagel recipe, and because oh, we're doing do the rainbow, the we didn't add anything else. But you can use everything bagel, sprinkling on top. Once you've boiled it and Someone the top is all a wet, for fish. okay. I love fish. Uh, once you've boiled it and you've placed it on the tray, uh, one thing that you can do is you can actually sprinkle some um, cornmeal on the tray and put the bagels on that. Yeah. Notably, the bagels actually. Yes. I'm sure you've had bagels that have Fun cornmeal on Betty the bottom. cream cheese. Good it, choice, Edward. It lifts up. The bagels a little bit and gives you a better bottom, um, and then they don't stick to the parchment paper at all. Um, uh, and then once you've placed it on the tray, you can yeah, you miss live streams. I miss you. Uh, then you can sprinkle on bagel seasoning. Uh, you can sprinkle on sea salt. You could sprinkle on um, uh, sesame seeds. Uh, what was the other question? Sesame seeds or poppy seeds? Poppy seeds. Totally. Uh, you can also mix in a lot of things. Now, if you want to mix in flavors like garlics or jalapenos, or I mix chips. not chocolate chips. Oh, um, I mix those in at that first stage where I mix the color in this while the dough is still really wet to get them really well incorporated. Once the I dough, just a second. Once the dough is nice and thick, that's when I would knead in chocolate chips. Huh. Yeah. Or uh, like shredded cheese or chopped cheese or stuff like that to get those other flavors. Um, yeah. Hey, Mom, yes. what, what, would, what would happen if you added maple syrup? Uh, maple kind of like syrup? Up? Would it kind of like mess up the bagel? Um, would it mess up the bagel? Would it mess up the bagel? Hold on, I'm trying to get a spoon and you're right in my way. There we go. Yay, right. she did it. I haven't actually made this filling in a while, so I'm going to give it a quick taste. Want to taste it? Okay, I'm going to give you a quick taste too. Mm. Mm. Okay. To see if I want to add any more cake yeah. flavor. It needs some sugar, huh? Ah, yes, it definitely. Ah. Wait, sugar? Yeah, I was afraid it might, so. I had some powdered sugar on hand, just in case. Yeah, I, I'm gonna definitely get a cup of water. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna add. I, I suggest not trying that. <laughs> I'm gonna Would add a quarter sugar? cup of powdered sugar and mix it some more and see what I think. And I'm gonna add a little. And vanilla, if I can find my vanilla. There's my vanilla. Add a little vanilla too. All right. Now 
Now notice I started with um oh, hey. Hey. Yep. Every YouTuber already has a sponsor. YouTube. I don't know that anybody would call YouTube a sponsor. I I know. My we need like, but if it was called right. sponsor, then it would like, be a sponsor for every single video. Yeah. Oh, what's sponsor? Like, how did you make a video on YouTube All without right. using YouTube? You want to try that one? Nah. Okay. Nah. My my voice has a had. This my, is this is sweeter. My my mouth. It, has because had of powdered sugar, it's sweeter. Are you sure? It's way better. <laughs> oh, I didn't have you on camera. Sorry. What did you say? It's way better. I don't even think they can it's, see you. It's way, it's way better. It's way better. Okay. Be so I'm going to add a little bit you more powdered sugar, and I'm actually going to add a little bit more cake mix. Should be able to see me now. Because I feel like that birthday cake flavor isn't quite coming through like I wanted. So notice I used a block of... Excuse <laughs> you. <laughs> did you just burp? Yes, I did. Oh, my word. Like, a, a burp was coming out, and I didn't know that would happen. That was a loud burp. I know. Notice I used a block of cream cheese, and not, um... Fun day. And not a, uh, yes, soft, fun softened day. cream cheese. Because by adding these other ingredients, we are making a soft whipped cream. Is that my job to me? Is that so, my job to me or to her, Joseph? Okay. J Joseph, or is now. it to the both of us? All right. It's to the both of us. What do you think? All right, that is better. So, yes, three quarters cup, definitely three quarter cup powdered sugar, three quarter cup. No, I didn't add that whole. I didn't add that whole powdered sugar. Okay. Three quarter cup cake, white cake mix, and. A third cup powdered sugar. That's what I used. Uh, yeah. All right. So yeah, now. To, yeah. If you, if you if you said it wrong, but you forgot, but you I thought said that was right that right. time, now Matt can mess up. Thanks. Right. The I bought five gallons of sprinkles because I use them a lot. Ooh. I know, right? So five we're gonna add. Gallons? Yep. We're gonna add some sprinkles to this. That is huge. But I'm not gonna use the mixers. Sprinkles tend to bleed when they get added to stuff, so I'm going to just fold yeah, the sprinkles I, I, yeah, in. Yeah, maybe, maybe that would be too fast and come back, maybe kind of break the sprinkles. Yeah. Because how fast it would be. Okay, so. No, it's truly looking. No, How's that looking? It's, it like, now it's definitely looking like a cake I've seen before. I've, all right, let's cut open our bagel. Hey, can I be the first one to try bagel? You and sure cream can cheese. be the first one to try it. All right, so there is the hey, inside. Bagel and cream cheese. Hold on, the focal point's off. I wonder what it would taste like. What what it's going to taste like? Blah, blah. Look, I wonder what what it would. Even though we could, <laughs> we can taste. It. <laughs> so of course, do you want it toasted or not toasted? Not toasted. Uh, Sarah, hop on over to YouTube. It's working really, and Debbie, it's working really great on YouTube. It is not working on Facebook for some reason. Um, all right, so I'm sorry. Did you say toasted or not toasted? Not toasted. Not toasted? Yeah, De Debbie and Sarah, go to YouTube. Like, like we haven't had a, 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 a text from that, like, in, for, like, the past couple, the first five minutes of the video. That, that's yep. how long... No one has been on YouTube. I did not want any sprinkles on okay. it. Okay. There we go. I do. A rainbow, a birthday cake rainbow bagel. I do not want to try. I want to just like, like, want to try plain bagel with cream cheese. Well, it's a plain bagel with rainbow cream cheese. Is this really cream cheese? <laughs> you just added something to me. I would be a lot safer with all right, but stand up so they can see you try it. <laughs> see? Is that... Okay. I'm standing up. 
Alright, not that high. <laughs> I was standing up with those right. tippy toes. I get one too. Do you, so you want me to make you one without sprinkles? I can make you this yeah. one without sprinkles. But it already has sprinkles in the cream cheese. Is that okay? Don't eat that one if you don't want it. Alright. I was going to toast mine, but okay. Alright, so here's yours with no extra sprinkles. Yeah. Okay, trade? All I right. feel a lot Ready? Safer. Rainbow bagel with birthday cake cream cheese. I'm a favorite. Like when mm. I was biting, it only looked like I had a tooth <laughs> monkey. That's good stuff. That? I'm a favorite. That's oh, good stuff. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. What do you think? If you don't, if you don't like the birthday cake cream cheese, you might not like this. You want to go get some plain cream cheese out, and I'll cut you one and put plain yes. cream cheese on it. Oh, I love this. Someone else could have it. I'll eat it. Um, don't you worry about that. Mm. All right, I'm gonna cut him another one. Get the bagel cream cheese out, and I will put that on here for you. I will admit that this is actually like my fifth bagel today because I ate a bunch from the first batch. Oh. <laughs> All right, toasted or not toasted? Not toasted. Okay. So, verdict. They have a great crunch on the outside, but it's still a nice, chewy, easy to bite and chew crunch because we boiled it. The inside is nice and soft, and it's going to toast beautifully, and it's just the right denseness. What? What? Hold on. Got it. Yay! Victory is ours! I don't know why you don't want birthday cake cream cheese, but okay. It, it's probably because it's like homemade. Like, well, it's made with the same cream cheese. But it has sprinkles but it has and cake mix in it. And, and yeah, sugar yeah, in it. cake mix and sugar. Yeah. And other stuff that not that. And it's also probably missing some, some stuff with normal. That cream cheese has. Okay. Do you want it sandwiched or open face? Sandwiched. Sandwiched. All right. There you go. Now it looks like it's just okay. Open. So, um, that is it. Obviously, the birthday cake cream mm. cheese is going to give it a much sweeter taste. If you do like I did earlier today and just use normal cream cheese, it's going to go back to being a totally normal bagel. There's nothing in the bagel itself that is sweet. It's mm. a totally plain, normal bagel with food dye. Yes, it, do, it does taste like a normal No, it tastes like a normal bagel, right? Do you like it? Yeah. Good, because we have 13 dozen. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Uh, so that is how you make homemade bagels. I that talked a little bit about changing the flavor up. Uh, and then, of course, I showed you how to create the rainbow bagel. So I hope that you enjoyed this live stream. Thank you so much for joining me. Tomorrow. Were you, like, expecting this to eat, like, five a day? I, th like, I think we're going to freeze a bunch of these. Yeah, How's you that? actually kind of already ate five. So it's, what it's, else it's, would you guys like to see? Tomorrow is Thursday. So I was going to go live. I was actually going to try to go live earlier in the day to see how that goes, see if that hits anybody. Mm -hmm. um, but it was kind of nice to have the day to prep for this. So um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to, for, to, for me to go live in the morning, more like 11.30. Um, late morning, afternoon, I guess. 11.30 if you want me to stick to 4.30. And then also what you would like to see next. Um, uh, I have hey, all I the just, ingredients like, to make. Hey, I looked at, like, Facebook at just the right time so I yeah. could see, like, why your eyes were black and it was like, <laughs> and there was a black line. Uh, it, was like, it would look so weird. Yeah, so let me know it if you want to like, see yeah. more breads. Obviously, we can do, uh, brioche or French breads. Uh, we could make, I think I've already done my homemade mac and cheese live, but we could do Alfredo or mac and cheese. I've done, I've done Alfredo live, I know, so maybe not that. Um. What else is super easy and quick that we like to make? Or we can do a craft. My family mac and cheese. I can show you how I layer and make my Mickey Mouse Disney shirts for a trip to Disney. Hey, how about we have like two, every like every two live streams we do like a or we food, can make homemade and then slime. Craft, then Two videos food, two videos craft, two videos food, two videos craft. Yeah. But that might be a good idea. Well, except my yeah. website's my website's more food than crafts. Yeah. Right. Like maybe that. just one video craft. Maybe, maybe just one video craft. Yeah. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. 
Um, I will stay on for a little bit and answer some questions, and then we will go. All right. So uh, because Facebook was cutting out, I'm just going to turn that one off. Yeah. Because there's... Yeah, yeah. I, I was kind of hoping it would come back, but it just never did. So we were going to end that one. Sorry, Facebook. Quality of that was bad. Broken features, audio problems, video quality. Okay. Um, all right, let's answer some of the YouTube questions. Uh, you can't wait to make these. I'm so glad, Margaret. Let me know what you think. They look uh, brighter. I did, I don't know that, I think actually, oops. And, uh, can I look at the, at the things we will your All right, laptop? So, so hold on. How about we go process by Here's hand? the ones that we just did, and look how much bigger and poofier they are. This is actually what you want it to look like when you put it in the boil. Yeah. Actually, while we're talking, I'm going to boil these and get them on a tray because they are getting seriously poofy. I'm having serious poof problems. Where are all my baking trays? How about I scroll through you and you scroll through, how about I scroll through that laptop and you scroll through that laptop so we can both make more progress. Okay, right, sounds, so. sounds smart, buddy. You are so Only smart. Only if I can reach that laptop. I don't think you can reach that one. And, okay. yeah, and I've seen this thing a lot cleaner. as you bake them. Whew. Also, doing that boil slows them, slows that rising process down a little bit. So by boiling them now, they can actually sit over there for a second while the first batch finishes baking without getting too much larger. We should probably turn off Facebook because it went because Facebook kind of went to something weird. But when the video ended, Facebook kind of went to something weird. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need another sheet. Okay. Sorry. I swear I want to answer questions. I just noticed how big these had gotten, and how big have they gotten? They're ginormous. The people want to see. I will show them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to scroll through stuff. Okay. Someone said, oh, thanks, Freezer Life is long. Actually, oh. that is very good thing that your Freezer Life is long. Yeah. What if it wasn't? What if okay. it wasn't? Ah. So here. Oh, yeah, I that, that was a huge <laughs> move. <laughs> All right, so here is how big. This batch has gotten through the rising and the boil stage much larger than the other ones. So that's more of what you're looking for. Um, I think it's just because the other ones, I hadn't let them thaw enough since getting out of the freezer. Uh, now, if you don't put them in the freezer, it should take about 20 minutes for them to get to the right poofiness level. So I pulled them out of the freezer and I gave them about 30 minutes, but clearly it's taking more time than the 30 minutes for them to kind of reactivate because the Depending on how long they're in the freezer, it will take longer for them to get to the right poofiness level. So don't pull them out of the freezer and expect them to be ready to go in 20 minutes. Definitely give yourself some time. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Um, here. Word. But man, Scrumptious looking, yes. Stuff. Thank you so much, Sunshine Baker. They really are delicious. Fun day, and yes. See you tomorrow. Nice okay, thank you. See you tomorrow, Joseph. Mm. Uh... Verindia, Verind, Ver, Verindiana, is that what it is? I think so. Um, okay, so I'm glad that it's working okay. Sorry that YouTube's been a little on the fritz, but at least it's better than Facebook has been doing. Uh, yeah. You're inspiring me to make these. Rhonda, if you, don't forget if you guys make anything that you've seen here to, um, to take uh, a picture 
to share it on social media and to tag me, Ashley Marie Cakes, or hashtag uh, Make Some Awesome, and I will share them on my Instagram social media uh, stories. What will you make tomorrow? Uh, it kind of depends on what you guys are looking for. Uh, yeah. Viridiana, healthy snacks with your poor kids. That's hilarious. I don't really do healthy. <laughs> Obviously. She, she doesn't. <laughs> that, like, the title, the title of a name means unhealthy by the word cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Marie Cakes, that's true. Uh, yeah. Uh, that honestly, the healthiest thing that unhealthy. I do for my kids is simply just have fresh fruits around. Bananas and stuff like that. Apples. Yeah, fresh fruits. Green, green, green apples. Um, looks like thanks for streaming. Uh, this is a great time to go live. Thank you so much. <laughs> thanks for helping get through the quarantine. You are welcome. Our self-made quarantine. Okay. Uh, I think I am all cut up. If I missed your comment, I apologize. I'm sorry. I try to keep up with it, but also feed, not let things lag or I go too slow. I need to feed my kids a 1615, what, whatever that says, a six-year-old, the elder, okay. the older uh, anyway. person speaks to me, the little one never gets. Yes, I hear you. I have so, whatever, uh, whatever that eight, emoji 18, 17, 14, 12, and 8-year-old. So... I totally I'm get getting nine this year. Well, you're not even eight and a half yet, bud. Oh no. Oh, oh no! Ah! Oh no! Bagel down! Bagel down! Bagel down! I must need to make a dramatic oh. That was hilarious. and decide on something for tomorrow um, and it sounds like tomorrow at 4 30 sounds like tomorrow at 4 30 is still the best time so i will plan on that or 4 30 my time 3 30 pacific 6 30 um, eastern standard time so i will see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching Jonas, I guess. soup why does jo 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 joseph keep in st st 